Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start assessing one essay today. So, development in technology, my favorite topic, has brought various environmental problems. Sadly, that's true. Some believe that people need to live simpler lives to solve environmental problems. Others, however, believe technology is the way to solve these problems. Oh, it's a discussion-led essay. Discuss both these views and give your opinion. Uh, something to note, I have seen it um, in some responses. Guys, the order of information matters here. IELTS doesn't say, say your opinion and discuss these two views. It's always first, discuss these two views and then say your opinion. So we need to be humble and wait for these two teams or these two groups to have what they, or, or say what they have to say. And once they're done, then it's our turn to come and say our opinion. Our opinion can be something completely different, uh, which is not recommended uh, because at IELTS, that is uh, a little hard to do. Or our opinion can fall under either of these two categories completely, which is a recommended method. And you simply say, yeah, I agree with camp A, or maybe I agree with camp B. And you just go for that idea 100%. 100% uh, is important. If it's 99%, then you need to develop a little bit. And that requires a paragraph. And that makes your heart, makes, makes your job harder. And it might, you know, risk uh, your, your seven at IELTS. So that's hard, but if you wish, you can do it. Um, there, again, this is another approach to answering essays. Let's move on. Recent progress in technology has brought some consequences, including environmental problems. Uh, I need uh, one comma before including, uh, because uh, uh, this, this comma uh, is used when you have a word deleted here. It, uh, this one was consequences which include the environmental pro problems. So we deleted which, uh, and uh, we put a comma uh, in memory of uh, the fallen witch, uh, W H I C H, not the other spelling. That's a different word. It is argued by some that a simpler lifestyle could help. Uh, I like this. I like this. The writer knows that lifestyle is all one word. I like it. There is some knowledge behind this. Could help to control these problems. Okay. I see the word problem like in repeated in two sentences, but still, oops, no, I, I, I can see it here too. Yeah, it's a bit repetitive. Again, uh, examiners will feel that maybe there isn't uh, enough range for the vocabulary here. So even in, I mean, right after two sentences, there are some alarms in the head telling us that, hey, uh, maybe we're not dealing with a wide range. Uh, we're definitely not dealing with a wide range, but we're dealing with maybe a, a varied range uh, or just enough. Let's see. Although others believe that technology itself is the solution, pardon? What happened? What's, what's the, why is it dangling? Oh, it is argued that, I mean, I, I, I needed to read it all, all the way through. It is argued by some that a simpler lifestyle could help to control these problems, although others believe that technology itself is the solution. Okay. Now that is uh, a bit 
a bit confusing. This full stop must not be there. We don't need anything. The sentence has to end all the way by solution here. I personally think that environmental problems are, or the environmental problem is, I personally think that environmental, uh, yeah, yeah, there's something is missing here, is an urgent matter to address. Uh, we need a comma before and because the subject here is different from I. Simplifying people's lifestyle is the fastest solution available. So the writer in the thesis statement, which is the last sentence of your introduction, believes uh, that it's an urgent matter and by simplifying people's lifestyle, we can get to that part. Okay. It sounds to me that the writer is, a, I mean, the, the essay gives the writer's opinion a little bit more value than the other groups. Uh, remember, guys, it's not an opinion essay. So your opinion has to be there, has to be developed, but the priority goes to the two camps in a discussion of that essay. And uh, as I always say, IELTS doesn't call it a discussion-led essay. IELTS looks at it as a three main part question. There are three main parts. Camp A's opinion, Camp B's opinion, and the writer's opinion. So all three must be addressed, covered, and then maybe based on that, based, based on how you cover it, maybe sufficiently covered or fully covered, you will get a higher score. On the one hand, I like that. It's good on the one hand, on the other hand. That's that good. That is that's a good way to actually show there are two camps. Like the way I do it with my hands. Anyway, uh, there is uh, this argument that uh, human beings are uh, because we're not talking about a single individual human uh, are deeply what? Stalked? Why? I mean, they, I mean, human beings have a, a I mean, have a like a, like they work in Amazon or eBay, and they have a stockpile of items in their warehouse, and they ship them overseas from China to the U.S. Or vice versa. Uh, maybe the word is stock. S T U. C K, not S T O C K, and that is the past and uh, it's the past participle of uh, stick, S T I C K. Uh, if that is the verb, then that is an intransitive verb, guys. If you are not familiar with transitives and intransitive verbs. I'll put the lesson for transitives and intransitives in the description below. Do check it out, please. But this is not cor correct. This deeply stocked is like somebody, like human beings have these giant buildings and they carry these brown boxes uh, and they put them deep into the warehouse, like like you had these guys had to walk maybe 15 minutes from one part to the other or maybe use a forklifter anyway i'm joking uh but uh, this is this is not correct and it's misleading here in consumerism culture and decreasing environmental issues oh and again subject changes i need a comma here before and and decreasing environmental issues can only be achieved by living simpler lives. I'm not a fan of using and in the topic sentence. Uh, that's not that's not a rule. That's there's not that's not a lot. It's, it's like 
If you are going to say two, three items in the topic sentence, that is going to be very difficult for, for us as readers to come up with a proper development. Uh, it's always best to keep your topic sentences short and generic enough for that specific paragraph. So if you're going to say, like in this paragraph, I'm going to talk about bananas and potatoes. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have a hard time following because part of it would be about potatoes and part of it would be about bananas. One is fruit, the other is vegetable. Uh, and one, uh, I mean, they're, 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 they are different entities. I mean, how can you put both together? Uh, so that's difficult. In, in that case, I would say, yeah, in this paragraph, I'm going to talk about my favorite fruit. And then you carry on with why banana is your favorite fruit. And then the second paragraph, you focus on potato. And you might want to say why potato is uh, a very good s source of receiving nutrients. And then you carry on talking about why it is a good source. According to a new study in the United States, for countries that we add, the way, you, the way they are governed, or their political and uh, kind of like demographic, demographic means related to a people. Uh, when we add those words or adjectives at the beginning, we need to put the. For instance, the Republic of China, so, uh, or the People's Republic of China, actually, that's the correct one, PRC. Every person is consuming six times an average person in previous century, oh, and produces an even larger scale of waste. Waste, wastes. Maybe a variety of wastes. Such an attitude, because attitude is uh, countable here, such an attitude leads to a huge invasion of nature to satisfy the needs of modern humans and to get rid of, uh, I like this, uh, and, uh, we should say their wastes. Yeah, that's a little bit uh, old to address uh, human as like like man and mankind. It's uh, it doesn't mean male. Uh, in the past, it it didn't have that meaning. When people said a man has to do something, it it meant human. Uh, but these days we it's it doesn't matter we need to generalize and include everybody so we should use the um the pronoun their wastes and i have an issue a little bit with this uh, invasion of nature uh, maybe it leads to invading nature even further that that is more natural sounding to me Thus, if everyone lives a simpler life and manages their unnecessary needs, this will result in a cleaner and more stable environment. I would love to see an example here. Uh, for in, we could say, like, for instance, if we cut on our meat consumption just for one day fewer than uh, the past, in the past, we used to eat like five times a week uh, foods or dishes that contain meat. Now we can change it into four days a week. Uh, and even we can replace uh, red meat with uh, fish, seafood, or uh, I don't know, chicken, poultry. I mean, and uh, I, but that, but I needed an example here to just help me fully understand the concept. On the other hand, 
Some believe that technology itself can be the solution to all problems. We don't need the here. Uh, humans have made so far. Okay, this is a good topic sentence. So I I, intru I am introduced to uh, the fact that technology can help us solve it. Okay, let's see. Technology, technological progress can help to bring, can help us to bring, not bad, but again, uh, in this context, I prefer help us to bring clean sources of energy in hand. What do you mean at hand? I mean like present. And recycle can help us recycle. Yeah, that's the continuing uh, continuation of the uh, of the modal verb can, and then with the verb help can help recycle most of our daily wastes. For instance, okay, good. Tesla Corporation, mm, smart. Instead of company, uh, the essay uses corporation. Fancier word. The essay is showing off uh, a range of vocabulary here is producing electricity. Why is this present progressive? Why is it is producing? It's like just today they're producing, it has recently started producing, and in the near future they're gonna stop producing electricity. Why do we have to focus on this as a temporary thing, not as fact? This can be a this can be a part that is factually correct and it's always correct or it has been correct for quite some time so Tesla Corporation produces electricity using vehicles with zero air pollution N, we don't need S and water recycling systems oh, another comma because the subject changes water recycling systems are are being employed uh, it's it's I, I feel there is a reporter here, and uh, they're reporting it like you are watching uh, this news channel, Juice NN, uh, and uh, we are reporting live. And as you can see, we are at Tesla Corporation, and the water cycling system, or water cycling systems, are being employed all over uh, India. Uh, again, this is not the accurate use of uh, present progressive or present continuous. Uh, systems are employed all over India uh, to decrease soil contamination with water wastes. Okay, uh, maybe it was wastewater. I'm not aware of water creating any waste. So when we say water wastes, uh, we actually mean wastewater. Or, you, you know, the other terms like gray water, brown water. I don't know, things like that. So um, maybe maybe the essay wanted to say that. These methods can massively decrease environmental damages and make Earth. Uh, we usually refer to Earth as the Earth as the planet. So it needs the and uh, in at oils it's not that important. You, you we usually capitalize e. Uh, when we when we are when we refer to the earth as the planet not as soil the earth a sustainable environment again all right okay uh i have still the same issue the essay puts a lot of values on the writer's opinion the writer is everywhere like I can feel these two camps are struggling for their very existence. I, pr I prefer that the, that the essay takes a neutral position first by going into the first camp and then going to the second camp and just telling what they believe from, from their perspectives in two different paragraphs. And then uh, it's our turn uh, or it's our turn actually to come up with our own opinion. 
All in all, technology can offer practical solutions for environmental problems in, a, in the long run. However, semicolon before, comma after, in the next few decades, comma, so in, if, if we have one comma here, then this comma is redundant. They will not be widely available. And again, this topic change, changes. So there is an overuse of and. I see a lot of and, ands here. I can count them for you. I don't know. So far, I have encountered maybe 10. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the number 10 is not accurate but it's it's a lot so we need urgent an urgent solution or urgent solutions for our current issues i personally think that by controlling the culture of consumerism and living simpler lives humans can save time for technology to offer a final solution to offer the final solution because the final solution is only one thing so it's the final that's it we know there's a final everybody knows anything that has a beginning has an end so there's an end so we say the final solution for saving the environment good 306 words uh okay i can see the development uh, in task response is sufficient uh, uh, the, you see that presents a clear position so they, the essay has a clear position uh, but the position is not very well throughout so it is clear I could see different camps I could see where the uh, writer or uh, writer's opinion stands uh, but to make it better again it's just a matter of giving two entities more uh, independence uh, for them to say their opinions and then it becomes your turn to say yours uh, as i told you um, overuse of some uh, Coercive devices or discourse markers. And uh, the last one may not always, uh, yeah, the essay did not use referencing very clearly. Uh, well, the part, the, the problem with stock, uh, S T O C K instead of S T U C K, uh, was confusing. And that was not helpful, actually. That was damaging. So, you can see the range was sufficient. The range got seven, but because of one confusion, and it, all it takes is just one instance, the essay gets five here. And the grammatical range and accuracy is okay throughout. I just have this issue with present progressive and uh, present simple. I preferred present simple. I still understood the message, but the message was. Uh, you know, in not not in the preferable shape. Guys, uh, it's very important. The words that you use or you're going to use in your letters, in your essays, and in your reports uh, have been already double-checked with the help of a dictionary, a reputable dictionary. So I recommend uh, Cambridge, Longman, Longman is my favorite. Um, Oxford, um, Merriam-Webster is a little bit difficult. Uh, but basically, if it's a um, standard, reputable, very good, available online for free dictionary, go for it. Double check the words that you use in your essays, reports, and letters, because as you know, they're going to be your representatives and you need to make sure that they do their jobs well. Take care.